How to make a bow and arrow. Want to play Robin Hood? Get in on the action with these steps. You will need a saw, a knife, a tape measure, a tree with long straight branches, scissors, thick nylon twine, knowledge of knots, a 25 inch long 3 8 inch dowel rod, a pencil sharpener, a candle, matches, heavy card stock paper, super glue, and targets. Optional, sandpaper and thin straight branches. A bow and arrow is not a toy. Pointing it at someone could result in serious injury. Step one, find a straight or slightly curved live branch about four or five feet long with a one to one and a half inch diameter. Choose wood that flexes without cracking. Use a saw or knife to cut the branch from a tree, then whittle off any smaller branches and knots. Step two, make a horizontal one half inch deep groove an inch from both ends of the branch on the outside of its natural curve. Then, carve out the wood forming two notches. This is the stave or wooden part of the bow. For a more finished look, whittle the bark off the stave, sand it, and wrap twine tightly around the middle as a grip. Step three, measure and cut a piece of twine about six inches shorter than the length of the stave. Tie one end of the string securely around one end of the stave on the notch. Tie a slip knot on the other end of the twine, forming a loop. Step four, if you're right-handed, Hold the string-free end of the stave in your right hand and the slip knot in your left. Rest the other end of the stave against the outside of your left foot. Step over the stave with your right foot. Reverse this position if you're left-handed. Step five, bend the end of the stave towards the slip knot using the leg that's in front of the stave as a fulcrum. Slide the loop of the slip knot around the notch and gently release the stave, forming your bow. Remove your leg from between the stave and the bowstring. Loosen the bowstring whenever you're not using the bow to keep it from getting too loose. Step six, sharpen one end of the dowel rod with a pencil sharpener. Light a candle and run the point through the flame until it turns black to harden the wood. Carve a small groove in the other end of the rod for the string. Whittle small straight branches into arrows if you don't have dowel rods. Step seven, cut heavy card stock paper into three right triangles an inch wide and two inches tall. Fasten them to the base of the arrow with super glue. Step eight, now all that's left to do is to test out your DIY bow and arrow with a little target practice, bullseye. Did you know, bone arrowheads dating back to 61,000 years ago have been found in South Africa.